Hi dears, welcome back to one more important session of English grammar, active and passive voice. Voice is that form of the verb which indicates whether the subject is the doer of the action or something is being done to it. As an introduction, look at this picture. Here are some wild penguins and a girl is crying. In active voice, it is written, wild penguins attacked my sister. And in passive voice, my sister was attacked by wild in penguins. In active voice, wild penguin subject and my sister object. And the object in active voice, you can see, is changed into subject in passive voice. That is, my sister was attacked by wild penguins. Now, let us see in detail. Look at this sentence. Namita sang a song. In this sentence, Namita is the subject or doer of the action. Verb is sang. And song is the object. Therefore, the verb sang is transitive verb. The subject in a sentence is the doer of the action. In many cases, verb in a sentence which requires a direct object to complete its meaning is called transitive verb. And only these can be changed into passive form. Look at this sentence. The children clap loudly. This sentence can't be changed into passive voice because there is no object. When the subject of a sentence does an action, we say that the sentence is in the active voice. Here, another example, a song sang by Namita. Here, song is the subject and it is not the doer of the action. So, this sentence is in passive voice. Here, the action rather than the doer is emphasized. When the subject is not the doer of an action, but something is done to it, the sentence is said to be in the passive voice. And only the sentence with transitive verb, that means verb with an object, can be changed into passive voice. The active voice is generally used while conveying an idea or thought. But sometimes the use of passive voice is required. Let us see where we use passive voice. Like, if the doer of action is unknown, means, see the example, mother's purse was stolen. Here, who stole the purse is not known. The sentence is used in passive voice. And in the next case, if the stress is more on action rather than the doer of the action. For example, a cucumber was chopped. Here, the chopping of the cucumber is more important than who chopped it. 
and in another case if the emphasis is on the thing or the person who receives the action like the letter was delivered here the letter is given importance than who delivered the letter now there are some points to be remembered the object of the verb in the active voice becomes the subject in the passive voice here is the example the monkey is eating a banana here it is the active voice and subject is the monkey and in passive voice a banana is being eaten by the monkey the object in the active voice that is banana has become the subject in the passive voice the preposition by is used before the monkey the verb is eating changes to is being eaten it is an appropriate auxiliary is being plus past participle form of the verb and the next point is the subject of the vo active voice is expressed as by plus agent in the passive voice it becomes a prepositional phrase in the passive voice and the another point is the form of the verb is changed according to the tense for example mohan writes a letter in active voice and a letter is written by mohan it is in passive voice if the subject or object in a sentence in the active voice is a pronoun it changes its form as shown in the table here except you and it is changed you and it remain unchanged in the passive form now let us see how the form of the verb is changed according to the tense in simple present tense active voice we use the root form of the verb and in passive voice we write is am are and past participle form of the verb which we have already explained in present continuous tense active voice we write is are am and ing form of the verb for example is writing and in passive voice we write is are am um, and being plus past participle form of the verb is being written like rita is writing a story in active and in passive a story is being written by rita next in present perfect tense in active voice we write has or have plus past participle form of the verb for example ravi has eaten an apple and in passive voice we write has or have plus been plus past participle form of the verb for example an apple has been eaten by ravi in simple past tense in active voice past tense form of the verb for example wrote rita wrote a story in passive voice we write was or were and past participle form of the verb rita wrote a story in active can be changed into a story was written by rita next in past 
continuous tense we write was or were plus ing form of the verb for example rita was writing a story and in passive voice it will be changed was or were and being and past participle form of the verb that is a story was being written by rita next one past perfect tense in active voice we write had and past participle form of the verb like she had completed the work in passive voice we write had and been plus past participle form of the verb the work had been completed by her had been completed and next simple future tense in active voice we write shall or will and root form of the verb and in passive voice shall be or will be and the past participle form of the verb for example she will buy the dress later and in passive voice the dress will be bought by her later and in future continuous tense cannot be expressed in the passive voice verbs in the future continuous tense cannot be expressed in the passive voice next one future perfect tense in active voice shall or will and have and the past participle form of the verb for example rita will have learned the poem by evening in active voice and in passive voice we write shall or will plus have been plus past participle form of the verb the example the poem will have been learned by rita by evening so these are the rules we follow when we change active voice into passive according to the tense one more thing when the subject in a sentence in active voice is not known or not important we do not mention that in a sentence in passive voice now at the last when we change an interrogative sentence into passive voice we retain the interrogative form look at this example is he disturbing you in active voice and in passive voice are you being disturbed by him it's all about the active and passive voice i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for listening